All right, I'm gonna start putting the clothes on them. I'm happy with the face. I've taken a couple of days away from it and uh, I'm happy with it. So now it's time to put the clothes on them and uh, see where we get to from here. Time to play with some clay. All right, I've just put the uh, belt line on his uh, body by putting a thin piece of clay around so that it, it's even all the way around. It's not diving here and rised up over here. And uh, well, it's that time of year when we start getting the lawns cut around here. My landlord's out there cutting the lawns right now. So we'll be getting lawnmower music. <laughs> music for a while. I don't know. He's almost done, I think. I'm going to do a little anatomy on him. Only because some anatomy will show underneath the clothing. Okay, I'm just establishing his collar line because I got to make wrinkles in the shirt. buttons on it now I'm not worried too much about down here because this will be covered up by the the uh, guitar let's see I've got to figure out where I'm gonna put each button because that will determine the wrinkles in the shirt and in the uh, part that the uh, buttons go on. Okay, the first button. Try to make each button the same size. Easier said than done. Oop, bad button. I'm not going to go all the way down with the buttons because, like I said, the uh, guitar is going to cover most of them. 
but it's easier to put the buttons on now than after I put the guitar on there. All right, let's get the first wrinkle in. Material is going to be stressed where the, ring, the buttons are. That's why I put the buttons on first. I'm going to have a scarf on them. And uh, so some of this is going to be covered up too, but. I know this looks rather stark right now, but I'll blend it all in. Okay, I'm just making a line where the uh, border of the uh, guitar comes, so I know how much to show. And I'm going to go right straight down there. That just gives me a Let's me know how much detail to put in up to a certain point. All right. So the guitar is going to be there. I won't need much detail down this way. All right, that's all I need to know. I'll be back when I get a little further along. Okay, I'm going to try to put the collar on. The back of the collar will be covered up by the uh, scarf, so I'm not going to worry about having it go all the way around. But I don't want the, start, the uh, collar to look like it's starched. So I'm making it kind of unstarched. That makes sense. Okay, I kind of like that. I think that's going to work out just fine. You see why I put the wrinkles on first? because I couldn't possibly put the wrinkles on after. Well, that's going to have to do it for today. I'll be back here tomorrow bright and early. Well, bright. Well, maybe not even bright. I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> we'll try to get this shirt done tomorrow. These things take time. You don't do them, you know, quick. And, uh, but I'm happy the way this is turning out. All right, everybody, good night. See you next time. Hope you had a great uh, Memorial Day weekend. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.